Okay, good evening everyone, and uh, this time we're meant to have a dis, uh, uh, disembodied voice and no picture, <laughs> with fabulous Bill here with us. <laughs> Unlike the stream with Muse where, oh hey, we have a picture for like 10 minutes and then her picture side just goes out. So, <laughs> woo, hey doc. Oh, go ahead. No, just he, he subscribed, so... <laughs> yep. Anyways, you were saying? I was just saying I'm always glad to be coming around and being a disembodied voice, you know? <laughs> yep. Oh, so I was looking at this on the pedals under here. <laughs> Never mind, we just got Rickrolled. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Back to the question. Well, well done, well done. <laughs> so for the foot pedals, uh, would you want like just F and U on on the bottoms here? Yeah, do it. All right. I think that's fun. Because <laughs> I was looking at that, I'm just like, you know, with the F bomb on there, uh, why not, right? Yeah. Uh, go for the same orange, or what color would you want it? Yeah, I think we got, I think we stick with the orange because purple and orange go together so well. All right. Yeah, and I know you have a lot of points, so Jan. <laughs> yes, burn the right. points. Right. Yes, yes, use them, but save enough to make sure we can make him talk like an orc for a full stream when he gets to the orcs. <laughs> Yeah. Which, which, yeah. I don't know. Were, were you there when uh, Sojan played that the first time? I was not. Okay, so it was during the co-stream. So not only okay. did we he, he rickroll one stream, he rickrolled two. And <laughs> that in of itself just made the stream worth it. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I mean, I, I I love a good you know Rick rolling and trolling people as much as anybody else. So yeah, that, that Sojourn was able to hit two streams with it at once. Oh well, and see, and he also didn't know what the super secret sound was either. <laughs> so it was kind of one of those congratulations. You just played yourself. I like it. Yeah. Because you can't just advertise that no. it, it's that. Hey, yeah, that turned out pretty good right away. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I know Sojan has enough points to make me talk like an orc for an entire stream. Now, uh, for the uh, new Deep Down My Soul, it would be good. Yeah, yeah, because trolling is a art. <laughs> now, would you want... Uh, okay, so you wanted these painted up like the Nas tanks, right? Correct. And that, that is metallic blue with an orange label, correct? Yeah. Okay. Correct. Well, we might have to go with Cool Ranch instead of uh, Daba D because that bottle of blue metallic is uh, dead. So you mean it Daba died? <laughs> Yeah, it, the, the Daba D Abba died. <laughs> and, and Fabulous Bill with the assist, and Gareth with the goal. That's right. All right. But instead, we'll use Cool Ranch. At least this is, still sounds liquid. Well, you know what? We'll we'll take a look, and if we don't like it, well then, uh, yeah. So yeah, the uh, yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go to part B of our cat plan, which is just freak out and piss. 
Um, okay, so yeah, what happened to the blue, the other blue one, uh, it's, uh, with turbo dorks, if, once they're open, sometimes, uh, they actually kind of go, lack of a better term, they go chunky. And, uh, yeah, they can kind of coagulate like that. I think that's about the best term for it, is they coagulate. And, yeah, just, uh tried to save it but yeah it literally it was clogging my airbrush even when I was uh, thinning out stuff so yeah did not want to continue using that but we're gonna give this cool ranch as much of a leg up as possible by and you want these bands purple or silver holding the, the uh. quote-unquote NOS tanks bands around them, like, that are holding them in there? Yeah. Just keep them as the purple? Uh, yeah, keep them as the purple. Alright. Alright. Oh, yeah, and uh, while well, I'm letting that black dry, I'm thinking for this, I might go with, uh, like, a Screaming Bell okay. for that, uh, this dwarf face on the front, on the front with a kind of pie symbol. Okay. I think Screaming Bell would be fine. Yep. Nice bronzy gold. Nice. Yep. Like, that's the thing that's best, you know, we've talked about this multiple times, kind of getting through it, it's, I, I don't want the typical, like, uh, I guess, Las, Los Angeles Lakers yellow slash gold. Yeah. I want, yeah, I want, I want that, you know, more grungy gold. Yep. Um, <laughs> more uh, mid-90s Nirvana gold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Dude, I, I want Barney to be the, the dwarven pimp rolling down the street. You know, in his lowrider that's going to be able to pop the front. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying myself watching this. Yeah. It's coming along. And, of course, while doing that, I'm sitting here working on building a couple more Judgment models. So All right. It's full Judgment in swing for me tonight. So much Judgment. <laughs> Correct. With this much Judgment, how much time are we spending in the ISO cubes? <laughs> Six months minimum in the ISO cubes. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Congratulations. We, we just aged both of us. Yeah. All right. Pokey tool. By the way, thank you for that Pokey tool. Oh, yeah. It works wonders, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, see, the, it it looks like a dark purple on the label, but like, yeah. it, it it like can, the blue itself, it's it's like Cool Ranch Doritos. Yep, that's gonna be perfect then. It looks way more blue on your wet palette, even. So, yeah. Yeah. That, that's going to be perfect for what I was hoping. And yeah, some of the other turbo dorks that I did use that, you know, when they were coming out of the bottle, they were looking fine. Worked like a damn dream out of the airbrush. So. And it's so good to hear. Yeah. 
So I did some color shift on that on those dragon wings, and it was just like, oh my god, this is a dream. Is that what you showed on the uh, the co stream right away? Was the, with the dragon and stuff? Is yes. That it? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering because I had caught that part at the very quick, and I was like, that looks really good. Yep. Yeah, I think this is matching exactly the blue that you... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That That is... Oh, yeah. Then we'll do a little strip of that orange paint on there, just for the label. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. And anything you want done uh, on the inside here by the uh, dwarf thing, or do you want it as that purple? Um. Or would you want like I a... S or go No, go ahead. Were you thinking silver there? Yes, I was actually. Yeah, do the silver. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to hit it all with a uh, sepia wash, not a, not a null oil wash. So that way it uh, ages that uh, bronze a little bit. And I'm going to use some of this old lead belcher. Okay. So it's a little bit of a darker silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Dragon's Rock turned out really good. I was going to say, I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and watch uh, what you did on the uh, co-stream that yeah. unfortunately did not take didn't happen as well as you'd hoped. Oh, God, no. But once it did go, it went relatively well. Like, aside from Muse's uh, picture dropping off, Good. I'd say, yeah, otherwise it went pretty well. And thank you all of you for hanging out as much as you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't hang out more, man. Well, I, I figured you were going to be at work, so... You know, adulting yeah. and all that. Yeah, I mean, okay, fine, I'll work, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then... Actually, when I... Oh, go ahead. Uh, so then these back vents here and this here, you want those uh, silver? Yeah. All right, well, since I got this lead belcher out, might as well do that. Okay, continue with your story. Uh, I was going to say, when I joined in on Saturday, just to say hello, check everything out, um, I had actually just finished my workout with uh, my buddy Watts. Oh, okay. And because uh, we do that every Saturday, and we were literally sitting at breakfast talking about D&D &D and stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Gareth's streaming this morning. Pop, pop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I'm definitely going to do, like, a... Uh... I might do a uh, Rune Lord Brass or something here for the tip here. Uh, do you want just silver for the uh, for the barrel, or would you want something else? No, I think silver's fine. Okay. All right. Well, since again. It's one of those things that, I mean, I don't want the weapons and stuff I, to take away from... The like, rest of the job of it. itself? Yeah, it's... Like I said, it's supposed to be, you know, Barney and kind of his hot rod car that he's gonna... Hot rod you in? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I won't blame you if you don't ever go back and watch all four hours of that stream. I will put it on my YouTube channel. 
two for just posterity's sake, but if anybody commits to the bit, good on you. I mean, realistically, it was something I was actually planning on doing because I wanted to see what was going on, and I knew I was going to be at work for most of it. Yeah. Well, at least I got a lot of miscellaneous projects done. That's an important thing. Yeah. Yeah, got work on your stuff done, got work on uh, Sojin's uh, night, which, yeah, actually I'll show... How that turned out. Because, yeah, so, Jan, even the picture that I showed you, that was it still kind of drying. I still haven't gone and put the rest of the stuff on because I haven't touched up the other rocks yet. But, yeah, God. Finding out how easy lava bases are. Oh, God, the, the chili putty. Not holding. <laughs> yeah, I've done a few uh, lava bases before, and... It's amazing how simple they are to do. Yeah. Like... Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, let's see how good this... Yeah, there's... Yeah, that looks fantastic. Yep. Oh, yeah, and, uh... Yeah, I'll have to share it with you. Uh, Sojan found on, like, uh... A Facebook group they were sharing like the recipes for like different bases and uh really yeah actually and pretty simple too like I think the most was like what like six steps or something like that so Jan maybe seven hell yeah yeah I mean that's the thing is out of like, I enjoy painting the minis so much. Mm -hmm. The problem is, for me, is that I suck at pacing. <laughs> well, and I had one teacher, one miniature painter teacher, that just kind of sold me on, well, if anything, like, yeah, painting the miniature, the paint scheme can be yours, but the sculpt is still whoever sculpted it. But the yeah. base, the base is completely yours to do whatever you want with it. And you can always tell more of a story with the base than you can... Or mm -hmm. it, it, it accentuates the story. Yeah. Okay, now... Yeah, you have a flat canvas. Okay, so would you want more Hashet Copper or Rune Lord Brass for the ed tips of the flamethrowers? Hmm... Or if there's another color, you know, you know me. Speak up. I'm well aware. Um, let's see here. Just trying to think. Start with the copper. All right. And I'm glad the Moixer Mark 1 went to a good home, too. Yes. Thank you for helping it fun. Yeah, it really does. Like, initially, I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't need a paint shaker or anything like that. Um, until I got, like, some contrast paints and then some other, uh, like, uh, some other paints from other lines that it's just like, oh, no, oh, no, this would take forever shaking this by hand. Yeah, even hell, like sometimes things like uh, Tesseract Glow, like just the amount of separation on this bottle here will still take forever for it to get worked out. All right, well, you can help me with something now. All right. So I'm working on a cyborg minotaur. All right. Uh, who basically the whole idea is uh, he's like a cyborg samurai minotaur that carries a big tetsubo. Okay. He has two head options. One where he is not wearing the typical like Japanese war mask. Okay. And then one where he is. 
Okay. So it's kind of that, it's supposed to be like that demon mask. Yeah. Which one do you think? Well, personally, I would say go for the demon mask, because those can always, those could always be fun to paint. Okay. Demon mask it is. All right. Oh, and have you seen uh, trailers for uh, Sh uh, for Shogun? On it'll be on uh, FX. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, it was actually one of my favorite books, like in uh, college and everything. Um, Thanks, Doc. Yeah. When in doubt, go Demon Mask. But it's about a. Uh, it's kind of during the towards the end of the Warring States period in Japan. Yeah. But a uh, Dutch vessel with an English pilot managed to go around uh, the, uh, uh, what is it, the, the horn of, off of South America, you know, they go past South America. Yeah. And they uh, finally make it to Japan, but their ship like wrecks. But it causes a whole stir because otherwise the uh, Spaniards had a chokehold on trade with Japan. And it's kind of about him coming in and offering stuff with his trade company. And about this other uh, daimyo trying to have this bid for Shogun with this other daimyo. And like just the politics in it and everything. And... It's really cool. I'm really excited for it. Like, it was a book that I used to read alongside with Dune, like, every summer. Okay. So, and the guy that they got to play, uh, the main, uh, Japanese character, Tornaga, uh, you remember the badass samurai in, uh, Katsumoto's, uh, guard in Last Samurai? Yeah, the guy who played Scorpion in the new Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he is, uh... He is going to be uh, Tornaga, and I'm just like, oh my god, yes, this man, like, because Tornaga in the book, he is cold, he is ruthless, but he can be your best friend if, if you're on his good side, but yeah, I'm just like, oh, he is like the perfect blend of rage and civilized for this role. Sounds amazing. Yeah. And also, like, the, the English pilot, he's also a linguist. Like, he can speak, like, when he crashes onto Japan, I think at the time he can speak, he speaks English, he speaks Dutch, he speaks Latin, he speaks Spanish, and uh, there might be one more in there, too, that I don't know. But then he starts learning Japanese. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to communicate with people, you... Yeah. I kinda need to do that. <laughs> yeah, my version of yeah, my version of the book was well worn and then the spine actually finally broke on it. So Well that means it was well used and well loved. Hell yeah. Okay, what do you think of the hashit copper on that? And God that that light just makes things so much brighter and washed out. It really does, yeah. But no, I think that looks fine. Okay. And then anything for these little squares? Uh, I mean, if you think doing them in the copper will look good, do them in the copper. All right, let's. He who peanut. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then here's how the dried blue metallic looks. Okay. Yeah, that's looking. That looks fantastic. All right. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm, I'm, I wanted him done in something um, kind of flashy and very, like, almost Fast and Furious vibes, you know, because uh, my first one that I have from version one, I painted him up very much so, like, the standard, stereotypical standard army tank. Yeah. And so I was like, I want something that's flashy, man. I mm -hmm. want something that's just gonna hit the table and people are like damn yep <laughs> <laughs> and if I was better at freehand I would do Dom just and just have like F is for family there 
What do you paint the F on his uh, front wheels for? Or his front pedals for? <laughs> Family U. Family University. We're going to give you an old school education. <laughs> Be way better than that there book learning. That's right. Right, now for Barney himself. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Family United. There it is. There it is. <laughs> F U. What does that stand for? Family United. United. <laughs> Love it, Sojan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to steal that one, just so you're aware. Okay, so for Barney himself. What colors do we want to do this in? Oh. <laughs> Think about good. that while I do the orange label. That sounds <laughs> like a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GFY <laughs> at work is good for you. <laughs> Can't tell that we work trades. Yeah, and one buddy that we play with online, like, uh, we started just talking, and he just goes to me and Soljan, he's just like, so I, I, I assume you guys work in a, a trade profession with the way you talk, and it's like, yeah, I work survey, and Sojan's an electrician, so he's just like, alright, yeah, so I can tell you guys some of this stuff. And the answer is yes, yes, you can. Mm-hmm. What happened? Oh, I'm gluing the horns onto the head. Ah. And they're rotating on me, so I'm like, come on. All right, so how, how's that for the orange label? Oh, Jesus. There. Just a little strip of orange in there for the label. Yep, that'll be fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, when... when so Doc runs with us, and yeah, he definitely works in a corporate setting. And when we've said, yeah, we we've told bosses to fuck off before, and they're just like, yeah, okay, fair enough, or just like, yeah, we'll fuck you too, and let's all get back to work. And just like the jaw dropping, like I I could never do that in my office. I'm just like, yeah, no, we know you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've done that. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to Barney. Okay. Oh, man. Um, and so he's wearing a bomber jacket, or a bomber style jacket. Okay. And he, he's got an undershirt. Man, some of this stuff's so. going to be hard to reach. It is, it is, I know. And that's why I'm not, like, expecting... Miracles? You know, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair, Doc, that's fair. Not everybody can get away with that one. No, and, and, and yeah, we realize that. No judgment either. No. Just judgment, eternal champions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, so, I mean, I think, honestly, we just start with the, the pants themselves. I think you go blue jeans. Right? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think about this. And I'm like, what? Dom is obviously who I'm thinking of immediately. And I'm just like, well, what the hell? Mm-hmm. He was he's pretty much almost always got like a black on or hmm. All right. Well let's just Yeah, okay. So I mean honestly a good simple thing would be like do the like almost like maybe Cantor blue or something like that. Just that or even maybe Nightlord's blue. Um just 
or something close to that. Those really, really deep, dark blues. Mm-hmm. Um, here, I'm sending you a picture. Okay. Okay. Because that can give, like, the pants and the shirt that's the undershirt. Mm-hmm. While I figure out what the hell we're going to do for the the jacket. Okay, and I might go with uh, black boots then, too. Yeah, that works perfectly, All right. I think. Okay, well, I might go... Let's see, Cantor blue. Oh, yeah, I do have Cantor blue. Sweet. That way I can just go straight with the color that you want. Yeah, well, that's why I was like Cantor or even Night Lords, and we've got that one. And it's just that super deep, dark, deep black, and I think we can achieve that by yeah. doing the Cantor with a wash of like. Yeah. This is nice and simple. Yep. <laughs> well, or I do have the old Necron Abyss foundation paint. What? Yeah. Holy God, you still have that? Uh-huh. That's I, impressive. I think it's still... Dude, I still have a bottle of uh, Delvin Mud that's still good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty impressive. That actually. that ages me right there. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a bottle of... Let's see... Yeah, I got Delvin Mud, Badab Black, and Ogren Flesh. That are still liquid because they were clear. It, they were clear enough that you could actually see into the bottle. And yes, I have seen his wall of paint, Sojan. I just haven't spent, you know, multiple minutes staring over it and oogling his paint. Yeah, he didn't have time to actually dissect it. Oh, yeah, and then I have the old. Uh, the old Citadel colors. Um, actually, got that from Doc. He had a full set of them, except that the uh, the metallic went goopy, and the uh, the bone color wasn't there. But I still have a sealed bottle of orc flesh. Damn. And when you shake it, it sounds liquid. That's impressive. Yeah. Yes, from my personal uh, collection that I've actually used. Yeah, I have like, yeah, Delvin Mud, Ogren Flesh, Baydab Black. <laughs> there it is. And I added it specifically for this. <laughs> Take a little trip with me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we don't share a brain at all at times. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, you, you're just working on the pants right now, right? Correct. Okay, so I think I'm going to change my mind slightly on the shirt. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go with white for the undershirt. All right. Because um, I went looking, and there's a couple of different photos that I'm going to send your direction real quick. All right. Doo-doo. So, something to match, I think, one of these two, like, vest colors. Okay. Would work really well. Okay, so, white for the undershirt, and then, mm -hmm. like, a black or that, uh... Huh. So that's almost like a, um... Uh, it's actually almost like, I think, 
think Mechanicus it's, with like a Space Wolf Gray or... Yeah, it's close to it, or it's about like this Army Painter one called Filthy Cape. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Like, it, it's a dirty gray. Dirty brownish yeah. gray. And and that's where I think we could do either of those, that, like, that one as the base for either of those, and then it's just a matter of what the shade is that you hit it with. Okay. Because if you hit it with, like, more of a brown shade, I think you get closer to, like, the second one I sent. Uh-huh. Versus if you go with something that's more of a, like, a blue or something along those lines, it'll become more, like, closer to that first one I sent. Yeah. And I think either one of those will would look good. Yep. Okay, so let's go with white. But I might go with Corax white. So a bit of a dirtier white. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, it can work. All right. Unless you want, like, a pure white. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I prefer something that's definitely a little brighter. Okay. Um, but Say no more, fam. Shade and then some highlights, that wouldn't be a bad idea to start with something darker. Well, I mean, I, I can start with the brighter white, and I mean, we'll shade it down anyways, and it'll bring it down. Okay, yeah, then we'll, let's just do that. All right. I, I've i had too many bad experiences myself with Corax White that I'm just like, mm. Yeah, I understand. You're not wrong, Sojan. Still am needing some tequila. <laughs> Actually, I may have a bottle of yellowtail in the fridge. Nice. Go back to the bag of farts. Bag of parts, not farts. No, I said bag of farts. <laughs> I'm just making sure, man. No, I don't want a bag of farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, got my kids good in the store today. Like, oh, no. yeah, speaking of farts. So, you know, they're looking at something. They go, hey, guys, come here. Come over here. Look at this. And point at something low, turn around, and of course I, you know, drop ass on them. <laughs> and then, like, they run away, I'm like, no, wait, 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 come come back here, quick, quick, quick. Gotta help me with something. And so they come back, and I just go, you guys smell popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, and then, oh, that's your fart. <laughs> so... Got him twice with the same fart, like. Oh man. That's just ruthless. I love it. <laughs> I am winning big dad points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll hit it with the dirty cape on the uh, jacket. been a while since I've used this one, so I definitely need to moix it. It just gets stuck in your ear then. Of course. Uh, so... One of the 
things I was going to say is I know at the back end of the uh, flamethrowers, he's got like two little I don't even know what to you'd call them. They're like hoses, connectors, may and or laven. No, they're like little lights at the back. Like if, if you're looking at it straight down the barrels. Oh yeah, like so, where the pilot lights are? Yeah, so um, just make sure we hit those with some with like a bright silver or something and then hit them with a fluorescent or something do you know you know what to do oh okay all right yep i will see what i can do there i figure that will that'll look good on that very back little bit still trying to decide if i want it to look like he's got a hat on or if he's just wearing a like leather band strap with the goggles <laughs> and I just want you to paint his hat like a skin tone. Either could work. I mean, I'm tempted for the skin tone just because then it, then it's truly bald. Yep. Which, by the way, you painting him and working on him the last few Mondays, I have since went and rewatched through all the Fast and Furious movies. Ha, nice. <laughs> yeah, and actually, the other day, just for some reason, I'm just like, I'm going to watch Top Gun Maverick again. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Which I love that, like, a Star Wars channel did this video on it saying, this is actually a really good Star Wars movie, once you break it down. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, yes. Mm -hmm. You know the biggest benefit to it? What's that? It doesn't have Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he 100% uses the force. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got to sticky tack those on because I can't. No worries. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and I'm like, if... If I just glue those leg armor pieces on, I will know that they are not painted underneath. Yep. And I will know the legs underneath are not painted, and that's going to drive me up a freaking wall. Yep. All right. What do you think of that coat so far? Yeah. And I haven't touched the uh, fuzzy parts either. Right. Figure I could do that in like a... Uh, like a bone color or something like that just to make it look like wool. Yeah. I think that'll be perfect. Yep. See, we're both on the same page. Mm -hmm. We know what we like. <laughs> now the important question that I know everyone is wondering is what color is his beard going to be? Mmm. Well, I mean, my first initial thought is always a ginger. Well, yeah. Uh, that's always my first initial thought, because why not? But... Oh, and I'm going with more of like a matte... It's one of my favorite non-Citadel blacks. Uh -huh. Called Dragon Black, and it's a bit more of a matte black, but I don't know. I've always liked it. So, okay. And you're doing that for the the boots. The boots, yeah, that works perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Scientology force, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I love the one when he's like going nuts on Oprah, and like about uh, Katie Holmes. And someone just put the Emperor cackling, and then when he's grabbing onto Oprah, they just added Force Lightning. 
Could just go blonde. Yeah. Or not to toot my own horn here, going about with mine where it's like uh, reddish brown, but not like actual like red. Let's go that route. I actually like that idea. All right. And then I'm just going to paint his hands as if they're just like hands. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't expecting you to paint them, like, as if they have gloves or anything like that. I was expecting just hands. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, paint the uh, the helmet as just a head. Yeah, I think we're going to, I think we're going to paint the helmet as the head, and then where the goggles are. Mm-hmm. He's got that. Just do that as, a, like, a leather strap of brown. All right. Around it, or, you know, some color that you have, but looks good for leather. All right. All right. Seeing a few spots where some of the purple's sticking through again. All right. So that would be a good start for the beard. Yeah. Yeah, so one fun thing that Reaper does is they do just these sample paints, which mm -hmm. is a lot like the mystery flavors for Dum Dums when they're going from one batch to another and they just bottle the paints anyways and just send them off as samples and sometimes you get some pretty cool color combinations but then once you find something that you like like that you have to covet it because they are never making that ever again oh no yeah so it's cool but also like oh god damn it Mm -hmm. Son of a monkey! Yeah, like, I have a gold that's one of their samples that it's almost like a rose gold, but not quite. More, leans more to the gold than the rose, but I'm just like, oh, this is beautiful. And I can't use it. That sucks. Yeah.
And of course, I'm not going to forget about the stogie in his mouth. And of course not. Yeah, but also, uh, Doc, with like all of the paints I have, sometimes it is nice just kind of having the variety of stuff. Okay, now for the skin tone. Um, do you want pale? Do you want tan? And just, just for the lols, I'll throw this out here because I think this is just weird. Vallejo's dwarf skin that looks like more orange <laughs> than anything. Yeah, we're definitely not going with that one. Yeah. What? You don't want to go with spray on tan? Look, not everybody wants to be an orange peel. <laughs> or a Cheeto. Yeah. Uh, mm, Cheetos. <laughs> right? Mm, Cheetos. <laughs> um, I mean... Honestly, let's do something that's... Let's go for the tan look, because with him being around the heat and stuff... All right. ...of the flamethrowers, I think he would probably tan up a little more. Okay. So... Since I know we're going to do a wash over it, I'm going to probably go with, like, Cadian Flesh Tone, because I think if I go with Bugman's Glow... That feels a bit too dark. Yeah. So with Cadian... Or I could do a mix of, like, Cadian and uh, Bugman's. Hmm. And I'm thinking way too much for, like, the like little patches of skin you're going to see on this guy. Yeah. I would say just go Cadian. Yep. And as always, Cadia stands. As always, Cadian <laughs> falls. I still I still love like Sojan's uh um Ogren in uh Dark Tide. Like they talk about Cadian and how it falls, and then his Ogren they can fix a planet, right? Right? Like, oh no, sorry, big man. <laughs> Make for you great again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He does. The Ogren has a lot of great lines. Like when he just stutters over Medicaid station. Medicaid. 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 Healing station. Yeah. <laughs> Big damn hero me. <laughs> Why he's the bestest. Yep. You're not wrong. Yeah, but the problem is, is that he is the bestest, and then you get a group of four people playing him, and everybody's shooting each other. Yeah. <laughs> yes, wall of slab. Yeah. <laughs>
And it looks like he has little armbands here or something like that. You just want me to paint those over his flesh tone as well? You mean at the wrist? Yeah. I think that's supposed to be like the wrist sleeves on the jacket. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I mean, or do you want those like another color or do you want them to be like, uh... Like white? Uh, yeah, just do them in white. All right. Paint this all up in the Cadian flesh tone, and you can tell me. Mm -hmm. There's Move that away for a second. Definitely gonna do a second coat over that. Yeah, it's looking good so far, I think. All right. I'll, I'll be honest. The only part of it as a whole that I'm worried about is if there's a texture on the helmet. There is a little bit. So, might need to uh, <laughs> might need to change thoughts on that or be prepared to do a little green stuff yeah. all that if there's i don't know it depends i'll let you make a, th a decision on that or i could make them look like tattoos Ooh, that's a good idea yeah tattoos are a good idea i like that Yep, yeah, do just like a little bit of uh, lining in there with like some blue ink or something like that, or just some blue, and then wash it over with some flesh tone, with some flesh, make it look worn into the skin. Yeah, because there's definitely a texture for the helmet. Now, I mean, I kind of saw it with the metallic on there, but now looking at it with uh, everything else, yeah. That is... Okay, do these in white. Okay, then, eh, you know what, I'll torture myself and end the stream on this. I'll, I'll actually even try to get the whites of his eyes a little bit. <laughs> Far braver man than I. Well, I figure if I'm going to wash over them, it'll help tone it in. True. All 
Alright, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how... Yeah. There we go. Nice little shadow there. Yeah. That looks good. Alright. Yeah. Uh, the answer you're looking for there is correct. Yeah. What are masochists for a hundred, Alex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll send some pictures to you here soon. Um, that was good. Yeah. Anything special you want for the base, or just kind of go nuts on that? Go nuts on it, man. Make it. Make it whatever you feel like. Yeah. That you think will look good. Well, and granted, you know, still like looking at. Oh God damn it! Of course. <laughs> what? The uh, tread had to uh, oh. pop off. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, well, it goes like that. Again, it'll, it'll stick back yeah. on easy. Yeah, yeah like, the it's... fact that, like, most of the base is still going to be covered by this thing. Yeah. That's why I'm not... I'm not super worried about it. Yep. And honestly, we may have to pin that tread. Well, most of that's going to be underneath, so maybe I'm just going to go a little extra with some green stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if it needs to be pinned, just do it. Don't. Yeah. No, I, I, my green stuff is right over there. I'll, I'll just kind of probably like slather it on here, slather it on there, so that way it's literally anchored to it. Yeah. Because you're not going to see where the green stuff's going to be, so. No, especially once it's glued down, it's... Yeah. It, so. it ain't going fucking nowhere. Exactly. It's like, where's he going? Nowhere. Nowhere. That's right. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah, and I think... Yeah, it looks like it just kind of sits there anyways. Yep. Perfect. All right, yeah, I'll have a little fun with it, but I'm not going to go completely nuts, considering you're just going to see... Like a itty bit of it. Yeah, that, that's why I was like, the base, get it to what you think looks good. Mm -hmm. You know, make it do something that's semi cool looking, but not, don't spend a ton of time on it. I am, that I am not. So. so. All right, well, sweet. Yeah. All right, making making good progress on all of these, so. Figure if I spend a week or two on each of these, should be. As I say, well, we're officially a month out, so. All right. Yep. All right, so one, two, three, four more streams for this at minimum, or at max. Yeah. Yeah, especially if I work on some stuff on the, on the side, so. Which, you know I will, so. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for swinging out for tonight. I always appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys on Wednesday when we work more on uh, Sojan's uh, Kniggit. All right. Well, all right. Otherwise, yeah, don't have much else. Uh, no other weird announcements or weird streams going on, so... Bid you guys uh, a good evening, and remember, between now and then, to just keep on painting. <laughs>